Good afternoon to everybody. Today we are going to learn about the Vega written by Anton Chekhov. The story is revolving around beggary and alcoholism. The major issues in the story is alcoholism and due to alcoholism losing jobs. Anton Chekhov was a Russian playwright. I am short story writer. Chekhov shared a strained relationship with his abusive father and this influenced his writing. After he became a physician, he continued writing eventually and started gaining popularity. He is hailed for his contribution to the form of modern short story. His simple style of writing, his problem of human nature and his refusal to provide easy solution to continue makes his works relevant even today. Dear children, now we are going to, I am going to give you a small task. Towards the end of this reading, you will be going to play a role play. So for the role play, we need a lawyer's collar, a drinking bottle, and one or two placards, and a paper plate to carry food. The task one of making lawyer scholar is given to group one. Now, the drinking bottle will be taken by viewer. Drinking bottle will be taken by group two. And the placards will be written by group three. This is group four. You will also make posters. And group 5 will be making paper plates. Group 1, ready with law scholar. Very good. Group 2, are you ready with your work? Yes, sir. Okay, good, very good. So you have made the, what bottle have you made? Rum bottle. Rum bottle. Okay, group 3, are you ready? Yes, you are ready with the placard. Very good. And group 4, are you ready? Okay, you are ready with your task. And group 5, are you ready with your... What is that? Oh, you are making paper plates. Very good, very good. Children, now you are going to read the lesson. The beggar, the lesson, the beggar was written by Anton Seiko. The story opens with a beggar named Leshko was begging alms to an advocate named Sergei. The beggar said that he was a school teacher who had lost his job by a conspiracy of his colleagues. While seeing the beggar's appearance, Sergei remembered that he had seen him previously at Savodia Street, claiming that he was a student who was expelled from school. Sergei became angry after hearing his lies and told him that he would call the cop. Then Lashkov admitted <laughs> that he had told the lies. And he was a member of a Russian choir and was expelled out due to the drunken, drunkenness. After hearing the truth, Sergei asked him whether he would like to chop wood for him. Then Lashkov accepted the offer and went along with Sergei. Sergei asked his cook Olga to make the beggar chop the wood. He was unable to chop the wood because of the consumption, over consumption of vodka. 
After some time, Olga informed Sergei that he had job over the woods. The scope was paid after his job. Later, Sergei decided to shift his house. He asked the scope to help him in packing the furniture. After that, he offered him some work in his friend's company. Two years later, Sergei met Leshkov outside the theater. Sergei felt happy on seeing the changes in the beggar. Leshkov said that he was changed because of the kind words and good deeds of the cook Olga. Where have you seen them? I have seen them in the streets. Uh, okay. Now, do you think the drink is a good activity? Yes, no, I will be sitting They will continue eating and they will never do us for that day. So, do you feel that begging uh, is a, as a bad activity or good activity? It is a bad activity. Very good. How shall we deal with beggars? Yes, beggars should be sent to children's home or for education. Now, do you know anything about alcoholism? Yes, the habit of drinking excessive alcohol. Yes, if a person drinks excessively, then what happens to them? He will not have a tendency to work. Uh, he wants to drink alcohol and he can. Okay. Yes, correct. Is there any hope for alcohol, alcohol people? Is there any hope for this? In a way we can treat drunkards and beggars. <coughs> what do you feel the class? Anybody? Is there a way we can help them out? Drunkard beggars can be helped uh, with okay. providing okay. them with food okay. and with uh, any kind of work. They uh, may come to a good way by doing Yes. Children's Theatre Club of Class 9, Jayanti Kodikor, is going to present a one-night play, Make the Beggar, written by Andrew Chekhov. Loudly. This is part of our experiential learning. Here, the theatre is integrated into teaching pedagogy. In this play, Sergei is a lawyer, Leshkov is a drunkard beggar, and Olga is a maid servant. The message bearers are Abhinav, Aishwarya and Christy. Oga's constant care, concern and noble deeds transform the beggar's life into a good man who earns his work by his song work. Let's see how that happens to this one actually. Guys, I have pity on the work. I haven't eaten in three days. Who are you? Why do you call for my attention? I am a school teacher. I was expelled from the school for calamity. Help me, please. I have an offer now, but I have no money to get there. I think I have seen you yesterday at the Ling Road. You told me that you were a student expelled from school. Do you remember? No, no, that can't be. I am a school teacher. I can show you my paper. Have you done with the lies? This is dishonesty. I call the police now. Sir, the fact is that I am neither a school teacher nor a student. I was in a Russian cover and I was expelled from it for drunkenness. So, now you are on the right track. What else can I do, sir? No one gives me a pie and I say the truth. Help me, please. Work, that's what you can do. Where can I find work? Do you like the job good for me? Yes, sir, I will. Olga, take this animal to the woodshed and I will chop wood. After an hour, Olga found the man sitting on a log instead of splitting boots. What are you doing, you lazy buff? Come on, split the food. The man tries to split wood but falls. Mr. Lecture, I know you are too weak to split the food. Now eat the food and 
come tomorrow, but don't drink alcohol. Olga, did he chop the wood? Then give him pepper. Olga's constant care as ways transform the man and we stop from imposing the rules. Lashkov, is that you? How are you? How is everything with you? Good evening, Mr. Sake. I am all right. I am a notary now and I am paid 35 rubles per day. Thank heaven, that's fine. Sir, I owe my gratitude to your maid servant Olga. It was her concern, care and scold constant scoldings which helped me to change my drinking habit. So now you are a good person. We'll meet again. My dear children, I am going to ask you a few questions. If you know the answers, please reply. Who was Mr. Sergei? Sir, Sergei was a lawyer. Good. And who was Mr. Lashkov? Lashkov was said regular brother. Very good. And how did the lawyer try to bring the drunkard beggar into right track? The lawyer tried to bring the drunkard beggar to life by giving him bath and giving him dollar as a motivation. Good. Uh, and Tessie, do you know what is the role played by Olga in changing the life of the drunken beggar? Olga sponsoring Kea at ways the noble deeds transform the life his life. Good. So the class knows much about the drunken beggar and now he has come in the right track. And what has he become finally? Yes, he has become a not you do you know how much he is earning? <laughs> yes, 35 rubles per day. Now, does he lack dignity and self-respect? No, now he has dignity and self-respect. And that is the reason we say begging should be avoided. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. The bigger story by Anton Chekhov's conveys the message, begging is a crime. It lacks dignity and self-respect and we must show them a way to live.